Hey everybody, I'm Isaiah with Wood Brass and Glass, and today I just wanted to show off uh, a quick update on the new layers I've done with the Searle Effect Generator Rep. Starting out with the uh, Teflon layer, this is an 8x8 eight eight block, and I stuck it on the lathe. Oh, that was just my mark for a location on the lathe. Um, it's about a 3 inch inner diameter, and it's not the actual grams, I had to work down from there. So that is the Teflon layer, it weighs about as much as a piece of aluminum. Next we have the magnetic layer and this one is I had finished off in China it is unfinished meaning it is not down to the correct size uh, it was very sparkly <laughs> no, no joke on the lathe and having to grind it down to get the right uh, circumference or thickness diameter to match the weight on the Teflon so after much grinding, uh, it actually took several days because I had to work in between. Uh, this is the inside, that's the outside. These are all down to the proper gram weight. Stupid chip. And uh, it's all pretty much set to go. The Teflon and the magnet layers are pretty darn close. They're only about one gram off, so I gotta finalize the Teflon. So here's how much the Teflon layer weighs, and let me stick on the magnetic layer. Uh, the special thing about this machine is it needs to be uh, harmonically balanced or harmonically weighed. So kind of like a tuning fork, when you have two tuning forks together, you ping one, the other resonates at it at the same frequency because they're harmonically balanced. Same principle with this machine is each layer, layer needs to weigh uh, the same. So 28, 26.7, 28 grams is what they need to weigh. Magnetic layer. And this one weighs in at 28.25.8. So this guy's going to have to take just a, a gnat's hair off. To be able to get it down that one that one point one gram whatever really darn close but not close enough i just wanted to briefly show the uh the little jig i made for grinding the magnets like i showed back in the video uh, of a lathe with me grinding them uh, this is my first attempt it's wood but it's accurate enough um strap the magnets around uh, the problem I ran into is when you're grinding the magnets would tend to want to pull towards the chuck because I don't have the oven yet to cancel out the field. Uh, and so the magnets would tend to slip off this and grab onto the lathe and you know, it just wouldn't work. So, new improved, this guy, block in the back for the four chuck lathe and my mark, uh, I can mark the, the layers as they would go on, um, strap it all onto here and calculate out the weight. Uh, how much to deduct, uh, therefore I would know the exact weight of the magnetic layer. Uh, that way I could take this whole assembly off, weigh it, I know exactly what this guy weighs, uh, and how much to deduct the total, because the total was like 5,000 grams or something, uh, with this and the magnetic layer. So, I hope you understand.
So basically, uh, the first layer I did, they're all clumped together. That's the first layer uh, that's done. The second layer I haven't touched yet. Um, fit into here. Like so. These were all the measurements for the uh, the weights. This is basically the end, the end weights comparing uh, start and finish cutting. Start and finish cutting as I was making progress. Uh, the weights with the total and then the subtracted amount from the the wood jig holder. Uh, this was comparing each a sixteenth layer. Anyway. It would just be meaningless to anybody watching this, but for me, these are my notes. Um, looking forward to making the press fitting for the, the neodymium. Uh, I think this is the eventual, the final product, but that's further down the road. So again, uh, that's the update. Basically, the Teflon layer is done, magnetic layer is done, and uh, I'll just keep posting updates as things progress. Uh, the next move is to get the, the uh, heating oven to where I could basically make my own magnets and at least for now de-energize the, the magnets I have. So take care everybody. Uh, click right here to subscribe to my channel and I'll update you guys as work progresses on this, this Serophic Generator replica. Take care. Bye-bye.